Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'd like to share with you um, a, a time saver that I use, and that is to set up a project template, a default Cinema 4D uh, project, so that every time I open up Cinema 4D to start on, on another project, I've got some common elements already set up. Uh, as an example, uh, in my uh, project template, I start off with a sphere right in the middle of the scene. I've got some real basic three-point lighting set up. I've got a camera, uh, which is lined up so it's looking right at the middle of the scene. Um, I have a target set up on each of the lights, uh, that being the sphere, so that if I move the sphere, the, uh, the lights follow it. Uh, for the three-point lighting, I've got um, Shadow Map Soft set up so that rendering is quick. And then, you know, obviously if I go to render the final, I might change that to area. Uh, let's see, I've got different intensities on each of the lights, so the, the key light is stronger than the fill light. Uh, let's see, what else do I have going on? Oh, if you go to uh, Alt-V to bring up uh, the viewport, and I know I, I, I bring this up in just about every tutorial that I do, but I think it's, a, it's an awesome tool. So by default, this opacity is down at 10%, but I raise it up to 100 so that I can see uh, where the the when I go to render where the actual scene will cut off uh, this will be highlighted better if we go over to um, if we go over here and just play around with that now you'll see when we render the black areas won't be in the in the actual render uh, some of the things over under my render settings I've got it already set to physical I've got ambient occlusion added and enabled And that's about it. You know, it saves me, you know, maybe a couple of minutes every time I go to do a new project, um, which isn't, uh, you know, a ton of time, but I find it very helpful. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe.